there's a really quick shot around talking about the difference between living up to who we think we should be and actually living as we are. So a lot of us are raised unconsciously to tick certain boxes, to never be wrong, to be successful, to try to work hard, um, to have a certain type of relationship, to have a certain type of family, to succeed in certain ways. Obviously success is different for different families and different people, but we are all raised with these unconscious and sometimes very obvious and conscious expectations. Those expectations unconsciously tell us that we aren't good enough as we are and they set us up to try and fit in and become who others taught us that we should be or who others wished we were. And sometimes we internalise that and wish we were those people. The truth is who we are is who we are uh, fundamentally and working against that is probably the biggest thing that I see hold people back as opposed to working with it. Because if we were to really accept who we are as we are and what really works for us, then we would actually get a lot further, a lot quicker. And we wouldn't require so much external validation. We wouldn't require so much recuperation because we'd be living in a way that's true for us. And by doing that, we become naturally replenished and nourished. So next time you're making decisions, I invite you to think about this. Is this about who I really am at a core? Or is this about who I think I should be? And let your self-awareness start there and see where it brings you. All I can say is for me and on my own journey, I'm constantly uncovering the layers of who I thought or think I should be and working towards who I really am and how that needs to show up in the world and how much easier it is. <laughs> so much easier. If I trust and accept that I'm good enough as I am, then I can trust that who I am is enough and I can start to make decisions that are much better for me. Whereas what I find with a lot of people is we're so busy judging who we are naturally that we're always trying to be something else and it's tiring and it brings us off down the wrong paths. Our true, authentic, healthy, nourished experience is actually in alignment with who we are. It's not in spite of. So I'm gonna leave you to think about that. Let me know your thoughts. You can contact me on Twitter, you can contact me on LinkedIn, you can contact me on Instagram. Thanks.